Hi guys, hope you're doing well. So I thought I'd film a little interesting video today. I just finished showing a property and I was telling my client the story of the rod irons in El Paso. So back when I started in real estate, I used to work with this uh, wonderfully seasoned agent, Jean Lyons. Shout out of, to anybody who remembers Jean. Um, and she was so savvy, it would be the time at the time when people would still show up at the office, make calls from there, do all their business from there. So I remember her telling me about the story behind the rod iron uh, on all these windows that we see so much in El Paso. So the story from her was, and I cannot verify, but I'm pretty sure her story is accurate, is that back in the 70s, before many of you were even born, uh, there was a release of a lot of parolees out in the area. And so therefore we saw a lot of spikes in burglaries. And so people started putting all these wrought irons up on the windows uh, to prevent that. And, you know, people started complaining, writing to the, their, I guess their officials, the government officials complaining about it and they stopped doing that. However, the, um, habit of having or putting wrought iron on these windows stayed. And so when I get a lot of out of town clients that have never been to El Paso, they see the red iron on the windows and they freak out and they think, oh my gosh, this must be a bad neighborhood. And it's not, it's more of like a, one of those, we do it because that's the way we've always been doing it type of thing. So that's your little tidbit for today. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Bye guys. Little reminder that my business is based on referrals. Uh, without wonderful people such as yourself, I could not keep my business running. So if you happen to know of anybody, friend, family, coworker, neighbor that is interested in buying, selling, or investing in real estate, I would love to give them the best level of personal care. Thanks so much. Feel free to reach out, text, email, or uh, call me. Thanks. Bye-bye.